Today we're making another homemade snack in the Breeze Dehydrator with a little help from the Vibe Blender. We're going to be making some preservative free and no bake muesli bars. The perfect snack for lunch boxes or to just have in your pantry for any time of day. These can be made vegan, gluten free and nut free. I'm going to flavor them today with some cinnamon, cardamom and orange. This is so easy to do, so let's get straight into it. As I said before, these ingredients can be changed up to suit your dietary needs, play with the flavors or add different spices to suit your taste. We're going to start by adding the dry ingredients to a mixing bowl. So into our mixing bowl, we're going to start with two cups of gluten-free rolled oats, half a cup of flaked almonds, a quarter of a cup of pepitas, a quarter of a cup of shredded coconut, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cardamom, half a cup of sultanas, and the zest of one orange. So that's our dry ingredients done. Now we're going to use the Vibe Blender to make a fruit paste that we're going to mix through our dry ingredients to help bind and sweeten our mix. With the orange that I just zested, I'm now going to just remove the peel, cut it into quarters, take out any seeds, and then put it into the Vibe Blender. Now I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of maple syrup and half a cup of either raisins or sultanas. Blend it up on smoothie mode until you get a smooth paste and then you can mix it through the muesli. Give the dry ingredients a bit of a mix through and then we can add the paste. So I'm now going to prepare two trays for our muesli bars by placing two of our silicon mats into the trays. Now you can start to shape your muesli bars. You should get around eight to 10 bars out of this mix. Make sure that they're around the same size just so that they dehydrate at the same rate. Once all of the bars are on their trays, you can load the machine back up and we'll punch in our time and temperature settings. The settings for these bars are 70 degrees and 10 hours. The muesli bars have been on for 10 hours now, so I'm going to have a look and see how they've gone. These are looking really good. They've held their shape nicely and they're dehydrated all the way through, ready for you to snack on now or to store away in an airtight container they'll keep for a couple of months. So that's it. That's how easy it is to make your own muesli bars using the Breeze Dehydrator. We hope you give it a go at home and let us know what you think in the comments below. As always, it's always good to hear your feedback. Hit like and subscribe to see more Lavelli Life recipes. Check out the blog for more inspiration and we'll see you again next week.